one guys I know it's been a while but that is because I have been feeling a bit burned out lately but I feel oddly motivated to make a lot more videos like it's not that I didn't enjoy the content I was making it's just that I kind of ran out of ideas and I didn't want to go in depth with the content I was making anymore but this recent like three day stint it has helped me quite a bit get back on track and motivated me to make more videos out of nowhere anyway before we start I really need you guys to comment please comment it's the more comments my videos have the more of an algorithm thinks you guys like it and I get more we get more people coming into the channel okay um it's it hasn't it doesn't have to be anything elaborate put anything you want inside the comments just put an emoji or something anything you would like inside the comments just drop something it's only going to take you 10 seconds and you don't even have to pause the video while you do it anyway i also need you guys to subscribe and we're actually doing very well because december 12th we hit 400 subscribers okay no it was december 13th we had 400 subscribers I remember this because that is my mom's birthday, so, yeah. And I'd say January 3rd, we hit 500. And I haven't been able to look off this since the videos, because as you know, my microphone was broken, I had to get another one. So we're around 240, I'm at 540. Anyway, let's begin. Oh, this is going to be quite a bit different. It's not going to be based on the one shot I put on here. This is going to be different. This is what if Kid Goku was inside. Some deadly sins. We start this one off, off with Goku. Just raises Go. Just trained by Grandpa Gohan. Arriving inside the Seven Deadly Sins universe. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you how he got here yet. Because I haven't come with the worst flaw yet. I haven't made one. As soon as, as soon as this begins, we're just, we're just gonna say he fall from the sky. He just lands inside a field. Somewhere. He looks around, wondering where the hell he is. He keeps walking until he makes his way to a village. And he can't control himself around the center of food. So quickly, in a flash, he's able to take some food from the vendor's cart, make his way out of the village. The vendor notices because Goku was pretty sloppy. He had been walking for around two days, so he wasn't able to exert a lot of his strength. And he gets chased out of, out of the village. Goku feels bad about this and says that he'll pay him back. He'll pay him back one day for stealing his food. Goku continues walking. Everything around him looks strange. This isn't Mount Pao's like the village. The landscape is different. The grass is different. It doesn't have any of the trees or the, or the terrain of the mountain that he grew up on. He continues walking. This is when nightfall begins to happen. Off in the distance, he can see a settlement, but he's too weak to make it there. So he falls asleep in the grass because of his tiredness. Once this happens, falls asleep looking up at the full moon. Yes, full moon. Upon seeing this, he begins transforming to an Ozuru. At the middle military fortress that was there, they see this creature walking toward them. They're completely shocked. They try and fight back. But, a single blast from Goku's mouth beam is able to leave the entire base in ruins and destroying any survivors or anything that would come in to help them. In the morning, when Goku wakes up, he's surrounded by the remains of this military outpost with dozens, if not hundreds, of bodies around him, all dead from his doing, him being completely naked, not realizing how he got here. This is when the Imperial police come to arrest him. 
Goku tries to fight back. He's able to knock away a magic knight or two, but this doesn't do much as as soon as this happens, he falls out from exhaustion from the battle before, plus him being so hungry. Goku is marched around and taken to the capital. This is where he put up this is where he's put up for execution. This is when a young boy with blonde hair makes a deal with the king. And this is how this is how Goku joins the seven deadly sins. At the moment he's the youngest out of all of them. Escanor underestimates Goku quite a bit. Calling him a child and wondering what the child's doing on the back on the battlefield. However, he attacks Escanor. While the attacks don't do much because Escanor is a complete fucking powerhouse. He earned Go he earned Goku earned some of his respect. Because his power his blows did have some power behind him. And he spent most of his time with the rest of the sins. Continues like this for a couple years, around three years. This is when the sins are framed, and all of the sins are split up. Meliodas tells Goku that he needs to hide out for a while before he can get things situated. Goku leaves, being pursued by some magic knights. They recognize him. For his black armor that he wears up to this point. And he carries a spear. And he also has a sacred treasure. I'm not going to tell you that it, that is yet. Because Goku had lost it at this point. And it's inside the capital's possession. So I'm going to leave that off for later. He's chased down by a squadron of magical knights. But at this point, Goku had grown quite a bit. Both in his strength and stature. He's actually able to... Defeat all the magical knights pretty easily, not killing any of them, and making his way away from them. It continues like this for years. Well, for around the first year. They begin, they keep searching for him for around a year, with him fighting the magical knights whenever they showed up. They even sent stronger and, strong, and stronger magical knights. However, whenever they come back and try and attack Goku, they just find that he's stronger than the last time they fought him. This is from the Saiyan's ability of Zenkai boost where when they are damaged or near death, their power increases quite a substantial, quite a substantial, what's it called, substantial degree. So after around the one year mark, the attacks from the magical knights become more, less frequent. And he begins coming more. He becomes. Okay, I can't even speak because it's been a while since I've recorded. He becomes. It becomes easier for him to avoid their attacks and move in silence, not knowing where everyone. Not letting them know where he is. And that's where I'm going to leave it off for now. Part 2 will be coming soon. Don't quote me as in soon because I don't like being tied down. But it will be coming soon. I would like to ask you to like and subscribe again. Please comment. I hope you like this part. Tell your friends. We need, to, we need to build the channel up again, guys. Anyway, I would like to thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.